So this is my uh, Adafruit TFT uh, touchscreen display for my Raspberry Pi along with a Raspberry Pi version B um, and it is currently <coughs> hardwired into my router uh, and the reason for that is because my router is also connected to a MyCloud Mirror, which is a uh, uh, network storage device. It is currently running RAID 1 with two 3 terabyte hard drive. And what I'm going to do here is to take this and power it on and turn it into a random photo frame. And the way it works is when I plug it in, <clears throat> it's currently configured to use the t this touch screen for the display on monitor 2. Um, so it still uses HDMI for some stuff like initial boot, but once it does that, um, it switches everything over to this Adafruit uh, TFT display with touch screen. Um, what in addition what it will do is it will grab a IP address at the beginning, um, then it will uh, mount the, I think I use Samba or NFS, I don't remember which protocol I use, but one of those two to connect to the my mirror as a virtual uh, mapped drive. And then finally, when it starts, it's gonna run this Python, or Perl, sorry, Perl script that a coworker of mine actually wrote. Um, it, what it does is it pops off 25 uh, images and um, keeps it on the SD card of the Raspberry Pi and it displays them in 20 second increments. So I'll show you that in a second. Right now, the reason why it's stuck on the first two is because, or actually it's stuck on the third, second image is because uh, my, uh, my cloud has caching. So the first two uh, picture were cached in the ca cache, therefore it didn't need to read the disk. But now that this has spun up, uh, it is going to pull 25 images and then start displaying them in 20 second intervals. There's a slight delay, so here's one. This is a 1990 Miata with 24,000 miles and this is what the engine bay looks like. So this is a car I just bought. So now you can see it's pretty it's, uh, swapping images. Um, and one of the things that uh, I noticed is that uh, FBI, which is the display image I was using, was running out of memory. Um, and the reason behind that is because uh, it would spawn multiple processes and not kill itself. So we added a process to actually kill the FBI code as soon as it's done. So that was number two. And here's number three. So these are all Miata pictures, obviously. Um, this is interior. I took it. I don't even remember why I took this picture. I think I just took it for somebody else. Um, for the most part, it works well. Uh, I probably will slow down to go into maybe one second intervals or half a second intervals. I don't know. So this is the interior of the Miata. All right. From now on, I'm just gonna let it cycle through the image displays and just let you see what happens.
Ah yes, my Vespa and my Honda Fit. Oh, by the way, if you notice the image is slightly uh, non-clear, is because I have this little screen here, protective screen, that I haven't peeled off yet. I'll get around to it, so you can see it's much clearer. So, alright, last picture, and then... Thanks. Yeah, that was my Honda Fit when I sold it. It had like 80,000 miles. It's awesome.